So after our long month break in Joburg, right now we just got over to Serbia, so we're in Belgrade. We're here for a couple of weeks and today we're gonna be exploring the city. So come on and let's go check it out. So before we go see some stuff, we're gonna go to the chiropractor because Anna has a bad back. Yeah, so I've been going now to this chiropractor for like a week and he's been helping me. So we're gonna pop into the chiropractor for like 30 minutes and then we're gonna go on our car. Yep. Then you get to hang out with me while she's in the chiropractor, so that'll be well, fun. Well, I go get my back fixed, because I'm an old lady. And this is what traveling's really like. <laughs> she gotta deal with it, yeah. so finding help along the way. <laughs> All right, so while I'm waiting for Anna at the chiropractor, I figure I'd walk around a little bit, get some food, and yeah, hopefully Anna gets out shortly. Anna's appointment went a little bit longer than we expected, so I'll cut you straight to the chase where we met up with our tour guide, Alexander. Let's check out some of the churches and buildings that we saw on our tour. Our tour was good. Uh, I learned quite a bit. I learned that we know some people apparently in <laughs> Serbia, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We ate at our tour guide's uh, his brother's restaurant, <laughs> which was like just a weird coincidence. coincidence. Um, it's so good. It's called Smash Burger. Um, we'll put the link in the in the description below. But um, I think it's definitely the best burgers we've had in like Europe. So. 100 percent. 100%. Anywhere that we've been the last several months. So if you are in Serbia and Belgrade, go to Smash Burger because it's delicious. After this, we've got a little bit of time before mm -hmm. we start work. So we're going to go to a thrift shop. We're going to get some food. It's a vintage store. Vintage right? store, not thrift shop. We're going to go to a vintage <laughs> shop. We're going to get some Eat food. And we're going to run over. <laughs> the thrift shop and we didn't buy anything store. Oh, <laughs> so we made it out of the vintage store and we didn't buy anything Surprise. Praise they had a lot of cool stuff in Yugoslavia okay 
a lot of pins, a lot of glasses and and shoes and old things that I'm sure you were yeah. really, if, really wanting to buy. If I had a home, I would have bought in several like decor pieces or even just like a lot of the like cool things there. So if you are there, I check it out. And now we're on our way to get some food. Woo! Well, we just got back home and we had some ice cream, but we'll be doing more things tomorrow. So let's go to the next day. Decided we wanted to see more of the city much faster, so we hopped on some scooters. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I wasn't nervous because the last time that I was on a scooter, I accidentally ended up in the hospital. So that was fun. Uh, hoping this wasn't a repeat of last time, I decided to be a little bit more careful on this one. One of the last things that we did while we were in Serbia was we met up with our new friend Jordi to show us around for some food and architecture. Let's check out some of the highlights here. So Belgrade has the healthiest set of pigeons I've seen on this side. If you are a pigeon enthusiast or just an avian fan altogether, <laughs> please visit this wonderful city. Now take a sip. Oh good. <laughs> you got any enough. Our time oh. here <laughs> Our time here in Belgrade, Serbia has come to an end. We really enjoyed our time. We had a bunch of fun tours along the way. We packed up all of our stuff and now we will be heading to Bar Salona. So follow along, we'll be going from colder to warmer climate, so looking forward to it. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace. Thanks so much for tuning in this week on our short stay in Serbia. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram if you haven't just yet. And we'll see you next time.